Hi everyone, welcome back to AI Incarnation. Imagine you're working in a large organization where every IT support document from troubleshooting guides to system configuration is stored in a centralized Google Drive folder. Now an employee encounters an issue with VPN and simply types, how do I reset my VPN credentials? Instantly, our automated system retrieves the most relevant information from thousands of documents and provides a step-by-step -step solution, all without human intervention. In today's video, we will show you how to set up two powerful Anytime workflows that makes this possible. One workflow automatically ingests and processes your support documents, while the other allows users to chat with an AI that leverages this stored knowledge for quick and accurate responses. Our solution consists of two main workflows. The first one is Document Ingestion Workflow. Here we are having a Google Drive trigger that will listen for new file in a designated folder. Once a new file is uploaded, the workflow will start. And the next step is to download this file and extract its contents. For that, we are having the file download and extraction nodes in our workflow. The third step is to data cleaning. Next step is to clean this data. We will clean up the text by removing unnecessary characters from the data and send it to the next node that will be the embedding and storage node. For this demo, I'll be using Google Gemini to generate text embeddings and then store them into a pinecone vector store. The second workflow is the chat query workflow. Here we are having a chat trigger node which is activated when a user sends a query via chat. Once the user query is received, it will be sent to the vector search and context retrieval node. Here we will load the top relevant document chunks based on the similarity search from pinecone. Once we are having the relevant documents as well as the query, we will send it to the code node that will create a prompt for us. Once all the relevant document chunks as well as the user query is combined, it will be sent to the AI agent which will return the detailed answer to us. This is how the document ingestion workflow will look like. This is how the chat query workflow will look like. Without wasting time, let's jump into the demo. Once you log into Anytime, this will be the Anytime canvas. We'll start by creating the workflow. We will add the Google Drive trigger node. And we want to make sure that we are using on changes involving a specific folder. This is what we want to use. The poll time will be every day. You can change this as per your need. But for this demo, I'll be using every day 10 a.m. And we want to trigger on changes involving a specific folder. And the folder will be rag files for this particular demo. And we want to watch for file created event. That's it. We can simply test this. So this is the latest file that we have uploaded in this Google Drive. The next thing is to download this particular file. So for that we will be using Google Drive download file node. This will help us to download this particular file and we can extract the contents. So we'll be using by ID and you can simply give the ID here of this particular file. This is the ID. Simply drag and drop it here. That's it. We'll test this step. This is the file that we want to download and it's available for download. Once we download this file, we need to extract contents from this file. For this demo, I'm using PDF file, so I'll be using extract from file and I'll be using PDF for now. And this is the file and I'll simply click on test step. Once I click on test step, it has downloaded the data from this particular file and you can see that these are the contents of this data. So once we are having the extract file, we'll simply use the code node to clean this data. So for that I'll be using a JavaScript code and the code will be very simple. I'll just take the raw data and I'll create a constant clean data with the help of raw data by replacing the special characters like remove line breaks, remove extra spaces and removing special characters. So these are the things that I'll be cleaning and we can simply test. Okay, we can see that all the extra spaces are removed, extra lines are removed and the data is clean now. So, 
we have added the code node the next thing is to add the pinecone vector store so we'll be using pinecone vector store for the pinecone vector store you can simply go to pinecone sign up with your google account and once you log in you just need to create an index where you want to upload this data so i'll simply create an index index name will be google drive automation and since i'm using google embeddings i'll be changing this dimensions and once that is done i'll be using the default config and simply create an index add documents to vector store i've already set up the pinecone api account here and i want to insert the documents we want to insert the documents so we will be using insert documents and the pinecone index will be the one that we have just created google drive automation so this is the index that we want to use next is to add the embedding simply click on the plus button here add embedding and i'll be using google gemini in the pinecone we have selected 768 as the dimension this is because i am using the google embeddings and the default model is using 768 dimension embeddings so this is the reason i have used 768 there you can simply choose any of the embedding models i'll be using text embedding 004 once the embedding is done i just need to add the data loader that will be the default data loader for now and I want to load all the input data and the text splitter that I want to use is recursive character text splitter. For the chunk size, as per my data, I have to choose 3000. You can change this as per your need and the overlap will be 300 for now. That's it. You can simply test this workflow now. Okay, let's go back to the pine cone and see if the data is loaded. Okay, we can see that we have two items that are stored in this pine cone vector store. And on the pine cone, we can see that these are the two indexes that we have created. So we have stored all this data into the pine cone vector store. That is the first workflow that we have built. For the next workflow, we'll simply use the chat trigger node and we will connect it to a pinecone vector store to retrieve all the related documents so we'll simply use get rank documents from vector store and we'll use the operation as get many and we will choose google drive automation the prompt will be the expression coming from the chat input so we can simply say expression as chat input and embedding that we are going to use is google gemini embedding and we'll be using the same embedding that is text embedding 004 so once we are having all the documents we can simply go to the code node to combine this user query as well as the documents that we have fetched so for that i'll be using this this is the code that i am going to use it will retrieve the user query from the previous node and assuming that pinecone has already passed an array of items of documents so that will be documents as items from the pinecone it will sort them based on the similarity score and then select only the top three documents once we have the top three documents it will combine the top documents into one context string and we will add the final prompt that is having the user query as well as the context then we will send it to the next node After the code node, we'll be using the AI agent node. And for this, we'll be using the prompt as the prompt that we have just created. So this is the prompt. Using the following context from documents, these are the documents, and this is the question. Answer the following question. I cannot connect to the internet or local network. And we want an answer. And the model that I'm going to use will be from open router i can 
pyjama three. Mm, that's it. This is how the workflow will look like, and we can simply test it. And this is the document that we have uploaded. IT support document, and we'll simply ask one question. For example, let's say user cannot connect to the corporate VPN. I'll simply say I cannot connect to the corporate VPN. I'll go to the workflow. Let's test this. I'll simply say uh, I cannot connect to the corporate VPN. And once I send this, the query is sent. And okay, we have got the output, and we can compare this. Okay, so the question was user cannot connect to the corporate VPN and the steps are confirm the internet access is working, verify VPN credentials, example MFA token, reinstall VPN client or update configuration files, check for firewall settings for blog posts. Else, if none of this works, then the escalation is escalated to the network security teams for advanced configuration. Let's see what the model has given. Okay, it has given the pretty good answer. I think the same steps it has given. The problem was user cannot connect to the corporate VPN and it has given us the steps to resolve it. Confirm the internet access is working, verify the VPN credentials, example MFA token, reinstall VPN clients or update configuration files, check for firewall settings in the block ports and escalation. Escalate to the network security teams for advanced configuration. In summary, today we have built a powerful IT support chatbot using n we have automated the document ingestion from Google Drive, generated text embeddings with Google Gemini, and leveraged Pinecone for fast document retrieval, allowing users to receive instant support through a simple chat interface. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below with any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching and happy automating.